Good morning from San Diego, California. This is a video presentation of the Ocean 66 Super Sport alongside our pier on a glorious blue day in San Diego. We're going down the port side, viewing the cockpit currently. You can see the nice wide swim step up into the cockpit. Look at the cabinets forward and the entrance to the engine room. Also, there's a ladder to the flybridge and you get a view of the cockpit from the forward section and the built-in table as desired. Large bait tank and you can see where the installation is of the engine controls and entry into the cabin. The salon area on the starboard side looking forward panning to the left. New upholstery throughout, new carpet. Almost everything in this boat is new in the last year and a half. You can see the nice cabinetry and the cabinet work. Ice maker they're very handy to the dining area. Around to the port side where you see the large two-door refrigerator. Holds lots of drinks and food, obviously. This is the cabinet area holding the dishwasher. Down the steps to the living compartments. This is the forward visitor's salon and bedroom area. Has its own bathroom. Plenty of space for visitors. Panning around to the right, you'll see the wood lined closet area. Next will be the entertainment center for the visitor and another one of their closets. Again, wood lined. Couple steps forward, right next to the laundry area and closet in the passageway, over and under washer dryer. Very handy for all the staterooms. Down the center line passageway will come on the starboard side to a day head and combination for the stateroom which has twin bunks, a twin upper and double lower so you have plenty of berthing space. Next we'll move on to the additional berthing area for guests, a single above and a double below. And it has its own head adjoining it. So you got plenty of privacy for guests and or visitors that may be on board. Nice large head with plenty of headroom. Nice shower. Back out on the passageway, we'll go down to the master stateroom. As you can see, it's quite luxurious. Another large shower and head for private use of the masters. Nice large bed, well appointed, nice upholstery, new carpet, entertainment center, and entry right into the head area. Back up in the salon area, another view showing the electronic piano or organ. You can make almost any sound you want with electronics. Going out the door to the cockpit again, you'll see the power panel for all the electrical connections. Out the door into the cockpit area again, and up the steps to the flybridge. Flybridge has an extra six foot long section added to the rear, which gives you this enlarged seating area. A view into the flybridge, 
It also has currently installed a shade, sunshade, for the upper seating area. Panning around to the control panels and installations for the use of the driver. You notice it has a bow and stern thruster, has a ice maker and refrigerator and sink on the flybridge, seats about 12 to 14 people. Looking over the bow, you'll see the installation point for the dinghy. And we'll proceed down to the engine room. Notice it's sparkling. It's been totally renovated. The engines only have about 350 hours currently. They were totally reworked a year and a half ago. But good visibility, twin generators. So you got plenty of electrical power. Walking out around the port side to the dinghy. Nice clean installation, easily handles uh, from the crane, you'll notice it has five individual seats in the dinghy. In addition, it also has a bimini top you can rig up. It's uh, folded down currently. Takes about two minutes to install it. The 75 horsepower outboard on the stern of the dinghy is quite powerful. It will take you anywhere you need to go. And in decent waters it's a uh, quite nice handles very well it's fairly fast boat you could even water ski